Welcome back everybody, this is Kevin with Walker's Adventures. Today we're going to be doing a review of Treasure Lake RV Resort in Branson, Missouri. Right there's where you check in at, at the Welcome Center. They got a nice uh, tribute to the veterans here at the main entrance. If you like to play tennis or pickleball, they do have pickleball and tennis courts here. So they got one, two, three, four pickleball courts and one tennis court. Also have a playground for kids right here, along with a volleyball court if you want to play volleyball. Also, they got a basketball court, as you can see right here. Looks like they got a board way over there in the distance right there. They also have a huge outdoor swimming pool. However, right now it's 28 degrees outside, so the swimming pool is closed. Let's just go look at the indoor swimming pool. And here's the indoor swimming pool, which is 84 degrees. I also have a restroom here at the swimming pool. And a changing area. Right here's the clubhouse. I want to tell you about the swimming pool too. It don't feel like it's 84 degrees felt cold. We, we did not get in it because it was cold the other day. Looks like they play bingo up here some nights. More restrooms. Right here's their activity board. I think in the winter time they don't really have too many activities going on. They also have a little store down here that has not been opened yet. I guess you can pick up some stuff. Right over there is also the lodge where you can get tickets to local shows. However, in the winter time I don't think it's really open because it hasn't been open while we're here. You see all the golf carts over there. You can also rent golf carts while you're here if you want to. Right here is a shuffleboard area. Looks like they have one, two, three, four, five, six shuffleboards. And they also have horseshoes right over there. So you can play horseshoes if you wanted to. Right here is a closer view of the swimming pool. Looks like in the summertime it's a nice pool. There's also a nice mini golf here as well. You see it all down the hill right there. Right there's the activities place where it's just there. They no longer have, I guess, the theater. Or the game room. They took that out to so they could put up a game shop, so that was one less amenity. Right here is phase one, site like one through 164. They also have rentals down there. You can see, but well, that area is closed off for the winter. They also have Frisbee golf as well, over there. And they also have a real nice walker's path right there, how, how funny. So I guess that's only my path, everybody else has to walk on the road. But it's a real nice path down through there with asphalt on it. We can walk down through the 
uh, through the woods. Me and Linda and Sadie did it. Nice little area. Right here, some of the stores they have. I guess for members of the campground. This is a coast to coast campground. And right here is a main laundromat. Let's go in and take a look at it. Looks like they got one, two, three, four, five, six wash machines and eight dryers. Have another little restroom up here while you're doing your laundry. A dollar seventy-five to wash. I guess it's probably the same to dry as well. Right here is where they fill propane bottles at 8.30 and 3 o'clock. Right here is phase 3. Like I say, they have four phases. So let's ride through phase 3 and look. Almost all the sites are back in. Got a few pull throughs right here on the left. They also have some more rentals up here by phase three. And you can see right over there, they rent out two yachts if you want to stay in a yacht. I think I like them too good. Now this right here is phase four. I think most of the walk campers stay down here and they also tell you, oh, you can come down here and stay if you want to. Let's just ride through and take a look. Each zone has a comfort station, restroom, showers. You can see this area is not too conducive to backing in. Most of the lots are un unlevel. So I would suggest that you don't stay in zone four because these are not uh, very level sites. So right here is a comfort station. I'm gonna show you what they look like. Of course, let's go in the men's and see what it looks like. It looks fairly nice. They got big sours, so you can take a sour if you don't want to take one in your RV. So we might have to do that. That's nice. Right here's a laundry room at the comfort station, so let's look at this one. It's about the same. And right here's the zone that we're staying in. Zone two. Each spot has a picnic table. That's about it. Power, water, sewer. They don't make it very easy to park your rig though. I mean, you can see. Like you got a pad right there and you got a tree right beside it. And right here's where we parked ours at right there where mom's van is at. You see, we had to pull way up there, back it down, then make an S-curve right here just to park. 
with trees all in the, all in the way. So right here's where we're set up at. It's not too bad once you get in there. Well, now to tell you the bad about this campground. In the winter time, it seems like everything's closed down here. You know, uh, the swimming pool, indoor swimming pool, was so cold that you couldn't swim in it. Uh, no hot tub. And this is a coast-to-coast -coast campground. This is supposedly their premier campground. Let me know in the comments what do you think. Do you think this is like the creme de la creme of campgrounds? I don't think so. I think Coast to Coast might need to reevaluate how they rank campgrounds because this is not a premier campground. Uh, this is in Branson, Missouri. One thing that I absolutely hated, when you check in, they tell you, okay, well, Zone 1 is 60% is full. Zone 2 is 40% full. Zone 3 is 80% full. And Zone 4 is 20% full. Uh, go find your spot and park. They give you no guidance. You know, you don't know. You know, you the all most of the pads are unlevel up here in zone two. They do have concrete pads on them. Uh, but this is just not a a premier coast to coast campground. They have in the book and on the website. They have lots of amenities that they no longer have here. So, you know, I don't know how often Coast to Coast checks out these campgrounds, but they might need to recheck out their campgrounds. Well, I appreciate y'all watching this week's video. And also, thanks to all the new subscribers. We just hit a milestone. We got 500 subscribers now. So, I really appreciate each and every one of y'all. I hope y'all enjoy the video, and y'all have a great week, and we'll see you in the next one.